Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Chairman C already informed me that we need to stay clear of anything that has to do with the genocide, okay? The genocide. One to two million Uyghurs put in camps by the party. They use them for free labor, torture them, experiment on them, sleep with their wives. You know, typical genocide stuff. <sighs> I don't know, Joe. It's just write another love song or something. <laughs> well, that's not your decision to make there, is it, mister? Okay, listen, we'll talk about this later, all right? All right. All right, love you, bye. Come in. Hi, what's up? Oh. <laughs> and you are... Oh, Lilla Farley. Uh, what? Lilla, it's, uh, it's my Chinese name. Well, you don't look very Chinese. Oh, no, I'm not, no. I've just studied Mandarin for 12 years, uh, and I perform in it. <gasps> oh my god, well, how good's your Mandarin? Is it as good as that little cutie, Xiaoma? Well, I don't want to brag, but if Xiaoma's a five, I'd say I'm probably a nine. Wow, go on. <laughs> Actually, uh, my rapper name is uh, Shui Zhu Zhan. What? Boiled egg. I don't get it. Listen, I just, <gasps> oh my gosh. White on the outside, yellow on the inside. inside. Yes, that's why I've come here today, to try out for Haiti 8 Rising. A white dude that raps in Chinese, you'll be twice as big as little Xiaoma. Oh, at least. Well, don't just stand there. Let's hear some of your stuff. Oh, okay. Um, all right. <laughs> So I'm skimming the news, can't help it, paid in the food. What type of man does it take to wear Winnie the Pooh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, he's actually like banned in China because this is so funny, you're not gonna believe this. So Chinese Edison said that their president. Sh yeah, I know. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, why are you talking about that? Well, I mean, you know, you could argue that Xi Jinping is responsible for the entire coronavirus. Shh. What? Half of our market is in China, you stupid little shit. Yeah, but the Chinese government is oppressing its citizens. Don't you think hip hop is a global art form for marginalized voices could bring attention to the suffering of your Chinese fans? Suffering? <laughs> Who says there's suffering? Everyone I talked to seemed to be doing just fine. Yeah, but do you really know that though? Oh, please kid, don't feed me that shit, okay? We get it, you're American. You gotta save the world with your whiteness, okay? Welcome to reality, bro. There are winners, and then there are losers. Yeah, but this is literally the most relevant thing going on right now, okay? Disputes in the South China Sea could lead to war. The homes of your artists, Korea, Japan, Indonesia, Vietnam, the Philippines, even the US, we are at risk of a growing authoritarian China. You know nothing of war. War is the engine for life, boy. Here at Haiti Rising, we provide our audience with happy songs. Songs that allow them to escape. What do you want to do? You want to bring them pain? Remind them about their miserable existence? No, no, no. I want people to confront the CCP issue together, okay? If our citizens, our business leaders, our artists and politicians don't confront this issue right now, there's going to be more viruses. There's going to be more violence and more suffering. It's only going to get worse until we're all- Get out! Get out right now! Shut up, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, sorry. Oh, no problem, man. It was probably my fault. Whoa! Rich Brian? <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> Lilla, actually, I'm a huge fan. You know, you got that smooth, deep flow, man. Your story is so interesting, and you have a gift for languages. <laughs> Thanks, Lilla. That's a cool name. What are you doing here? Oh, I was uh, trying to get signed. Yeah, I rap bilingually in uh, English and Chinese. Wow, sounds like you'd be perfect for ADA Rising. We don't have a white guy. <laughs> nah, it's uh, it's cool, man. What do you mean? Why not? Nah, it's just your, Never mind, man. Listen, it was really cool to meet you. Be careful out there, all right? It's a crazy time to be alive. All right, man, take care. Oh, Brian, my man, so nice to see you. <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. What's up, Sean? I uh, heard you got good news for me. Oh, Brian, I don't have good news for you. I have great news. 
So I had a meeting with our Shanghai office this morning and you're gonna appear as the judge for the Chinese rap show, Rap for Youth. Me? A judge in China? Yes, sir. Turns out that since you're Asian, but you're successful in America, the audience will really like you and respect your opinion. But I don't speak any Chinese. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the retired brothers are already there waiting for you. They're gonna make sure it all works out. <gasps> right. What is it? Well, it feels kind of weird doing a show in China. Oh, why, why, why would you say that? Well, I mean, you know, Indonesia, where I'm from, it has the largest Muslim population in the world. Uh, so what? Well, I mean, who hasn't seen the John Oliver report or that Vice report with the banging hot reporter? China's government's orchestrating a genocide. Okay, right. <laughs> this isn't the Chinese government. It's a Chinese TV show. Yeah, but doesn't the government like fuck with all the entertainment over there? What does that even mean? Oh, you know, like ban films, censor lyrics. Oh, and I heard that shows like this actually have a quota they have to meet for patriotic songs. Oh, come on. America has born in the USA. What's wrong with a little bit of patriotism? Hey, don't interrupt, Sean. We've talked about this. <gasps> oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. They rapped about the economic prospects of further cooperation between Africa and China. And the song was called black and yellow. Well, what's wrong with that? I don't know, it just doesn't feel very hip hop to me. Anyway, I've signed you up for it, so just- And I mean, the US has its problems for sure, but at least it's not an authoritarian government committing genocide. You are doing the show. Just how much are they gonna pay us? <laughs> <laughs> it's like so much money. Really? Okay, Bri, do you know Yusuf Kala? Indonesian vice president? <laughs> Doesn't everybody? Right, so when China's re-education camps were brought up, he said, we don't want to intervene in the domestic affairs of another country. <gasps> wow. Right? The vice president of the largest Muslim country on earth doesn't care about a genocide of Muslims? <gasps> Try it. We don't want to intervene in the domestic affairs of another country. Right, great stuff, Brian. <laughs> Listen, if you do this, we will never have to work another day in our lives. Well, what can I say other than count me in? <laughs>